What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our Arizona Diamondbacks franchise mode and we are about to get really deep into the season or at least really begin our season. Last time we just did the season opener against the LA Dodgers where it was kind of a back and forth fest. I thought it was really going to be a snooze fest on offensively for us but thank god for our uh, man Carson Kelly that even I was skeptical to put in the lineup against lefties, uh, but I put him in there. Dude panned out perfectly, hitting a three-run home run in the eighth to tie it up and keep Zach Gallen from taking the L. Mookie Betts hit a fucking bomb on the first pitch he saw. It sucks that we lost, but it, it, it will. It, it is what it is. Andrew Chafin blowing it. Mm, I don't know if Chafin's really going to be our closer. Um, for right now he is, and in real life he's pitching really fucking good. It's one star, it's one blown save. If it continues to happen through the season, then we'll have to, you know, address it and potentially switch him out, uh, for someone doing better in our bullpen. Um, but let's jump on in. Actually, I don't think I showed you guys our coaches for this season. So I'm just going to leave this as is for year number one. We're not going to fire anybody. Uh, our manager is going to be Tori Lavulo. B rated, minus one speed, plus two arm strength, minus one clutch, minus one break. Really shitty coach. Good thing we only have him for one year and then he'll be gone. Hitting coach will be Joe Mather for two years. A gray, plus one bunting, minus one clutch, plus two power, and plus three plate discipline. So this dude's a really good hitting coach. That's awesome. Pitching coach will be Brent Strom, uh, B, pot uh, B potential or attribute gray, plus one clutch, plus one Ks over nine, plus one break, and minus three to control. I don't like that minus three to control. I would, I rather have, you know, if out of all of those, I'd, be minus, I'd probably have rather have minus three break than minus three control. Uh, we have him for four years. Might look to replace him in the off season. Uh, Dave McKay, just a one year reason why we're holding on to him. C attribute grade uh, minus two blocking, minus two arm strength, or arm accuracy, minus one durability, and then plus one speed. Yeah, you need to get off our team after the season. Third base coach is going to be A attribute. Uh, Dave Nichols, uh, which will be plus two durability, plus two speed, plus two arm strength, and minus two arm accuracy. That's fine with me. Uh, and then our farm director will be Mickey Mol Molina. C attribute grade, minus three break, plus three walks over nine, plus one power, and then minus three to blocking. So he kind of hurts the catchers there. But that that's, that's all fine and dandy. Uh, we do have some sponsorships. Uh, right now, we have uh, equipped the slugger. for So every time we get a strikeout, we get plus 1,500. Uh, we get, yeah, 1,500 for every strikeout, 10,000 for every home run we hit, and then 2,500 for every run we score. So I think this will help us boost our budget for next season. Hopefully this offseason, we can just splurge everywhere we need uh, pitching. Pitching is a big must improve if we want this team to get better. Uh, hitting wise, uh, roster wise, we probably have a few spots as well that we need to improve. Yeah, but for right now, this team is still usable, and I think we could potentially make a deep playoff run if the, you know, if everything lines up correctly. Uh, so let's get through the first series against the LA Dodgers. Hopefully we can just split the season or split the series. Today's the day to set scouting assignments. Yes. Okay. So we are starting off one and two. All right. We got a six to three win over the Dodgers. So Merrill Kelly got his first win of the Welcome season the and show. then a Baseball two to 10 loss. April. Let's oh. check out some of the results mm. from yesterday. Starting out in the NL West, the Los Angeles Dodgers pitched well, allowing mm. only three hits as they took down the visiting Diamondbacks 10 to two. The New York Yankees defeated the visiting Giants four to two. The San Diego Padres only allowed two hits in the game as they bested the visiting Rockies two to nothing. Garrett Cooper grabbed three base knocks, leading Miami past the Mets three to two. The Atlanta Braves smacked 15 team hits as they took down the Nationals in Washington 13 to two. The Brewers totaled 11 hits as they bested the Cubbies at Wrigley Field six to three. 
The Pirates got 12 hits in this one as they got past the Reds in Cincinnati 4 to nothing. The Blue Jays totaled 13 hits as a team as they beat the Cardinals on the road 11 to 7. The Rays allowed only five hits in the game as they bested the Tigers in extra innings 2 to 1. Anthony Santander nabbed four RBIs with three hits as the Orioles took down the Red Sox 6 to 4. The Twins held the opposition at bay with only four hits as they beat the Royals in Kauffman Stadium 4 to nothing. The White Sox got a win over the Astros in Houston 5-2. The Oakland Athletics put together 10 total hits as they defeated the visiting Angels 4-3. The Seattle Mariners allowed only 5 hits as a staff as they took down the visiting Guardians 9-0. Zach Wheeler got the win throwing 8 shutout innings helping lead Philadelphia past Texas 3-0. As always, thanks for tuning in. That's all we've got this morning. Enjoy the games later today and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, all right. So that's going to be a cool weekly wrap-up thing. Uh, I think I'm just going to let those play from now on. But looking at the scouting, we are going to make our positional needs the pitching or the pitchers just to start out. Uh, I really want us to have a deep uh, prospect pool here because pitching is going to be vitally important. We need to find out who our closer is going to be because uh, we really don't have one. Uh, so that's going to be a big positional need here. I know we can draft one year one that should be uh, very usable or immediately be our closer. Uh, I might be able to find someone in free agency too. So that shouldn't be too hard to really replace and starting pitching might take a few years. Um, so our priority is going to be that pitching. Like I said, we're going to scout a position. We're going to be starting pitching in the West for you, Jamal Courtney. Jay Kelly is also going to start you're going to do relief pitchers from the West. And then what are you good at? You're good with positional players. So we'll scout second and third base. Yeah, we'll scout second and third base for you. Actually, is there any prospects? Who are the top prospects? Recommended draft. Top 100. So the number one draft. Oh, okay. So we get to actually. Okay, let's, let's check these guys out. So the number one draft ranked or number one prospect in this year's draft is closing pitcher Robert Gomez. All right. So Robert Gomez, don't really know anything too much about him. He's supposed to be between a 63 and 82 overall with 80 to 99 overall potential. He's a fourth year. He's a junior, 21 years of age, six foot four. What does he throw? Oh, can I not see what he throws yet? Oh, doesn't tell you what he throws yet. Damn. All right. So what are the top five? So that was the closing pitcher, number one. Number two prospect, Jared Davis, 80 to 99 potential, 61 to 80 overall. Left-handed start. Oh, sorry. Right-handed starting pitcher, 21 years of age, six foot four from Mississippi. Okay, so we got a Mississippi and a Texas. Number three prospect will be right-handed starting pitcher Cleveland Conley. Okay, 75 to 99 overall uh, potential, 54 to 78 overall. He is 19 years of age, okay, from Connecticut. So he's the youngest all right, so he's the youngest of the prospects thus far. Number four, relief pitchers, James Shapiro, <laughs> 75 to 99 potential, 57 to 81 overall. He's a right-handed relief pitcher, 19 years of age from Canada. Uh, number five prospect, Dean Levitt, 75 to 99 overall pot uh, potential. He'll be 48 to 72 overall from Maryland. He is also 19 years age. Uh, the number six prospect is Mike Holloway, right-handed relief pitcher, 74 to 98 overall potentials. All right, so we got rid of the 99s. Overall between a 63 and 87, he's 21 years of age from Texas. Uh, number seven, oh, no, there's the 99 again. Julio Hernandez, a right-handed starting pitcher from Puerto Rico, First foreigner, he's 21 years of age, 55 to 79 overall, 75 to 99 potential for him. Uh, there comes the first positional prospect, catcher Kirby Cousins. 
83 to 97 potential, 65 to 79 overall. He is a switch hitter. He throws right, and he is 23 years of age from Indiana. So he's the oldest of all the prospects we've seen thus far. And looking around, he seems to be the oldest of everybody up here. He's just immediately going to be ready to play, seems to be the thing. So he's going to be, if you need a catcher, this guy seems to be the guy to go for. Um, next up is the number nine prospect, right-handed starting pitcher Ricky Morris from New York, 21 years of age. All right. And then finishing off with the 10th uh, ranked prospect, R.D. Shipman, 76 to 95 potential. 71 to 90 overall, though. Throws lefty and is 21 years of age. Yes, 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 yes. Scout this dude. Omar Don Donley, scout R.D. Shipman. His potential might isn't a 99, but if we could draft R.D. Shipman, right? 71 to 90 overall. I don't think... Any of these guys. Yeah, none of these guys had anything close to that. Holy shit. He's going to be one of the highest ranked or highest overall guys, potentially. Artie Shipman. Oh, my God. Where are we in the draft as well? I don't know where we are in the draft. Uh, but damn. Yeah, that's going to be huge for us. How do I? Oh, there's the advance. Uh, finalize weekly scouting plan. Perfect. So we'll come in next week. We'll listen to the report again. Uh, for this week, though, we're going to keep the lineups the exact same, hoping to chain or finish off the Dodgers here. Sim through the date. Uh, the Aces AAA. All right, so that we have to fix our lineup. We have too many players down in AAA. All right, we have six starters. Too many relievers. Too many relievers. So we will send down Scott to double A. Nah, we'll send Scott to A. There we go, Scott McCaw. So there we go. That should make everything better. Good, 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 good. So finishing off the Dodgers looking to split the series. We're not going to lose four to one. Heading on the road into San Diego before we get our home opener. Uh, we are going to lose Josh Rojas with a torn finger ligament. He's going to be out one to two months. All right. He's going to go not on the 60. We'll put him on the 10 day IL because of that one month possibility. Uh, yeah, 10 day IL stop the simulation. We're going to lose again, San Diego five to nine. I mean, we're getting the run support at times five, six, two, one back to five. So we're getting the run support, but we're letting a lot of runs as well. Uh, so let's fix our rotation real quick. Need a new third baseman, Evan Longoria against righties. He's not in against lefties, right? Oh, he is against lefties, too. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Shortstop. Okay, so we got to find a shortstop. So shortstop against lefties. We're going to put in Nick Ahmed. Yeah, he's the only guy that can play shortstop. So Nick Ahmed will go there. Corbin Carroll will get a promotion. We'll get demoted. We might as well fix our lineup a little bit. Seems like the middle of our lineup's not hitting well. Christian Walker, ever since game one, hasn't done shit, apparently. Uh, yeah, not good. Not good at all. Uh, Right-handed batters. Oh, sorry, left-handed with DH. Nick Ahmed. There you go. Promote you again. Righties. Need a third baseman. We will put... Manuel Rivera. Yeah. 
put Rivar, uh, Emmanuel Rivera there. He hasn't really got to play yet. So against righties, he'll get a chance now. So let's go. There you go. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. 53. He'll bat last, though, in the lineup. So there we go. Kettle Marte, we are going to move you out and swap you with Corbin Carroll. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Okay. And Marte doesn't got power now. He's got 45 power. All right. So right-handed, no DH. Sorry, left-handed with no DH. Marte. He seems to be hitting fine against lefties. We'll leave Marte in against lefties for batting two. And we'll see if that improves any now. So Corbin Carroll now batting second behind Jake McCarthy. Fourth. All right, so we got a little situation here. San Diego, San Diego haters trying to close you out. Let's get a rally going. Perfect. Marte on. All right, so Marte on first. Jake McCarthy up to bat. How many outs? Oh, it's not going to tell me how many outs. Oh, two outs. Shit. All right, let's go, boys. Let's go. We're going to do every moment. John Shelby alongside Chris Singleton. Oh, I did not mean for the announcers to be sure. Why not? On my bad there. So here we are, Jake McCarthy. We'll be looking to get Marte over. Should have let that one go. Now warmed up, boys. Sean Manea hurls a complete game shutout against the White Sox. Oh, right down the line, right to the fucking first baseman. Man, I got that too. Just got it on the ground. And San Diego's gonna sweep us in the two-game series. Zach Gallen taking his first loss of the game of this year. Eight strikeouts across seven innings. Damn. Yeah. No runs since the first. He did what he could. Just no run support. Just no fucking run support. Damn. Uh, Corbin Carroll, shin contusion. Uh, yeah, shin contusion. He'll be out a few days. Just keep him active. Just keep him active. All right, so now we're going to get our home opener. We are 1-5 in five going into our home opener against the L.A. Dodgers again. All right, so let's take a look. I mean, our team's not doing too good. We're one and five. We just switched up the lines up. Things could change. All right, let's go in. We'll do a little, do a little quick manage. I think. You know what? No, we'll yeah, we'll we'll do a little quick manage against them for our home opener. Here we go. So we're gonna have Merrill Kelly pitching for us. Holy shit! 3 ERA, 34 ERA, 6, 11, and 4. Damn. What? Play Damn. Ball. All right. So first up, we got Rojas. Just pitch him. All right. Ground out for Rojas. Chris Taylor, ground out. Freddie Freeman going to pop out. We got Jake McCarthy against Julio Llorias, who doesn't seem to be having a good start to his season either. 0-1, 6 innings pitch, 7 strikeouts. Still above a strikeout an inning. But a 7.5 ERA. Jake McCarthy looking to lead us off with a single. He's going to line out. Kettle Marte batting second. Going to hit a double. There we go. Christian Walker, who's been just atrocious this season, batting .87 or .087. Hasn't really done anything since game one. Can he hit Marte in? He's going to move him over, hitting a single on your ass. There we go. So guys on the corner for Evan Longoria batting 125. He's going to walk bases loaded. Flores Guerrero Jr. Let's see what we can do. Want to try to bunt him? No. We got we got to try to swing. We're going to try to swing. So Guerrero Jr. going to try to swing here. Fielder's choice. Ooh, out number 2. 
fuck, they got the guy at the base. Gabriel Moreno, bases loaded, and he's going to line out. Fuck. So we left the bases loaded, got deep into the inning. I mean, we got deep into the pitcher, got to him, but he got fuck out of it. Damn it. Mookie Betts going to be up against Merrill Kelly. He hit a home run in his first uh, appearance or starting the season, first Three. pitch. He's going to strike out, though, to Merrill Kelly. There we go. Will Smith up. Pops out. Trace ball, Thompson going to walk. All right, just pick off first. He's got a little bit of speed. Not likely to steal, but uh, still going to keep him over. J.D. Martinez going to fly out. So they left one guy on first thanks to a walk. We got Yurel, or Yario Munoz up to bat, batting 222. He's going to fly out. Nick Ahmed, strikeout, and Carson Kelly going to ground out. Carson Kelly batting 400. Damn, man. Max Muncy up now, top of the third. Ground out. Michael Bush going to hit a double. He's safe. Miguel Rojas, top of the order again for Merrill Kelly. See what the Dodgers Ball can do the second time man. around. Walk, eye on first and second. Chris Taylor hits into a fielder's choice. Guys on the corner for Freddie Freeman, and he'll hit into a ground out. Merrill Kelly getting out of the inning. Bottom of the third, Jake McCarthy against Correas. Ground out. Kel Marte strikes out, and Christian Three. Walker going to strike out as well. God damn, man. Uki bets up. Ground out, Will Smith fly out, Trace Thompson, solo home run, and the Dodgers take a 1-0 lead in the top of the fourth. J.D. Martinez going to pop out, and now the Dodgers with the lead. We need something here, boys. Wake up the bats. Evan Longoria flying out. Three. Darrell Jr. strikeout, and Moreno going to ground out. Fuck. Top of the fifth, Three. Max Muncy striking out. Michael Bush going to hit a double. He said. Yeah, keep him, keep him honest. That Miguel is. Rojas First hit base. by pitch. And I think we might want to go to a bullpen if this gets ugly. Ugly. <laughs> One out, guy on first and second. This is still manageable. Chris Take Taylor going to get walked. Bases loaded for Freddie ball Freeman. Walked again. And we are going to go to the bullpen. Who do we want to go for? We're going to go. Who do we got? Up? We got a bunch of righties. Yeah, we'll go Kyle Kyle Nelson. How do they hit against? Uh... How do they hit against righties. Shit. He hits better against lefties than he does righties. All right. Let's see if Merrill Kelly can get out of it. Mookie Betts, fielder's choice, got the guy at first. Now we got Will Smith. Smith hits better against righties. We're going we're gonna to trust Kelly. Get out of the inning. He hits a single two-run score. Trace Thompson flies out. Four nothing lead for the Dodgers, man. Maybe I just suck as a manager. Three. Ground out, strike out, ground out. Let's get a little pitching change Your going. Kyle please. Nelson in. Now, Martinez now, walked. Muncy flies out. Michael Bush going to line out. Miguel Rojas going to walk. Nelson. Taylor going to nothing. Runner was thrown out. They tried to steal. So back to the top of the order. Nothing going on here for Arizona. But finally, Jake McCarthy. There you go. He's safe. Jake McCarthy is going to steal over to second. There we go. Leading it off with a single and a stolen base. There it is. Now we're going to do Marte. Flies out. Christian Walker. One for two on today. He's going to hit a double scoring Jake McCarthy. There we go. Evan Longoria. Can we get a rally going? He's 0 for 1. He's going to fly out. Christian Walker still on second. Garrell Jr., 0 for 2, looking to get on base. He's going to fly out. Damn. Top of the seventh, we're going to bring Ladies in Melancon. Mark Melancon. 
One now inning pitch thus far with bats. one strikeout, zero ERA, up against Freddie Freeman. Gets a pop out. Mookie bets, grounds out, and Will Smith going to fly out. There you go, Melancon. Bottom of the seventh, Gabriel Morono, Moreno going to lead off. 0 for 2. He'll ground out. <laughs> Munoz going to fly out, and Nick Ahmed going to ground out. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. We're going to let Melancon pitch. Second Three. inning. Strikeout. J.D. Martinez going to hit a single. Max Muncy hits into a fielder's choice. Ball, and Michael ball, Bush going to get walked. Yeah, they're going Our to the bullpen. Please. Austin Adams for the gets him to hit into a fielder's choice. We got <laughs> Urias still in Adam. bottom of the eight. Carson Kelly pops out. Jake McCarthy flies out. And Kettle Marte pops out. This dude's going to pitch all nine innings, isn't he? Fuck. Chris Taylor hits a single. Freddie Freeman hits into a double play. A solo home run for Mookie Betts and a line out. So five to one, bottom of the ninth. We're gonna jump in. We're gonna jump in. See if we can get a rally going ourselves. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Dodgers. Number 40, Jimmy Nelson. So the Dodgers go to their bullpen in the ninth, going with Jimmy Nelson. Three innings pitch, zero ERA. Four strikeouts, two walks, and we have Christian Walker, who's finally starting to wake up here against the Dodgers. Just took getting home. Guess he's not too fond of the road. Ooh, right down the middle. Thought I was going to go a little bit more to the right. My bad there. See, now it goes down there, that knuckle curve. So you got a knuckle curve for a seam and a slider. And the hands. I'm swinging at everything. I don't think I haven't swung at one thing yet. Byron Buxton hits his 100th career home run. All right, good for him. Oh, I thought that was finally going to be outside. Gets me right on the fucking corner. The batter, number three. Jessica Evan Taylor. Longoria. This Evan. season he is one for ten. Longoria. Come on, our bats have to wake up eventually. You know what? Uh, not that. Your attention, please. We're gonna bring in Miguel Sano. Number 22. See if we can't hit it, just fucking bomb off this dude at least. Get something. 1-0 count. 2-0 with that slider. We're going to make Jimmy Nelson pitch, man. we got to score four fucking runs. Ooh, they're afraid of Sano. And he's walked. What? That was a walk. Oh, are you kidding me? Full count. Oh, and strike three. Oh, the um fucked us there. The ump fucked us. That was a ball. And we popped out. Oh, we we'll get better at hitting. And we are now one in six. 
to start this season. Losing our home opener and the season opener. Oh, we just don't got the... The bats are dead. Bats are fucking dead. We're letting up a lot of fucking runs, too. Jesus. So let's get through this. Get through the series against the Dodgers. Still at home. Double A does not have uh, four valid lineups. Auto fix the lineups. Uh, bottom of the nine, no outs. Enter the game. We got to get something going. Christian Walker, three at bats. He's 0 and 3. We're down by one. Evan Phillips looking to get the save. He's only got one save on the season. I'm going to say fuck you to that. Looking to get our second win. The first baseman. Got to be patient. Right at the third baseman. I got a hold of that one too. Alright, this is not even my fault. I'm I'm fucking finally making actual contact with the ball. Alright, Garel Jr. Gotta get a two run or a two out rally going here. That would have been a double. A fucking double. And we're done. Oh, damn. And we lose two to fucking one this time. Oh, early struggle. Struggles of, of the early season for us, I guess. Oh, Dre Jameson pitched so well, too. 7-1 win. There we go. Corbin Carroll's no longer injured. Uh, was he hurt? Oh, yeah. He was out for a few days. Uh, place him on the bench. And then we got to go do our scouting. Uh, so the lineup. Carroll was in left field. Put him in center against righties. Boom, boom, boom. And then lefties. Corbin Carroll was down here. There we go. So let's see what we can do. So who's hitting well? Because we got to fix this. So against righties, everybody's hitting well, except Christian Walker. So we're, we're doing really good against righties. Left-handed pitching. Our lineup's not too good. Um, so I think we got to move Christian Walker out of there. Like, he's not doing anything. So Christian Walker's going to move outside the top five. Who's been our power guy? Really nobody. It's been too much of a power hitter. Maybe it's just too early. Maybe it's too early. I can't. A little bit more data. We'll do a little bit more data. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's get the scouting going. Uh, still getting him. 52 interest. So he's going to be between a 72 and 83 overall now, 77 to 88 potential. Scouted 90% of them, no secondary positions, and he's ranked 24th. So we are done with you. All right, we have this dude picked as number one. So Jared Davis got promoted. Ooh. Okay. Let's take a look at that catcher. Oh, we got a promotion for first baseman. So by the MLB rankings. Oh, no. MLB rankings still has this dude number one. We have this guy number one. Jared Davis. Okay. 
So there we go. We're going after Jared Davis. Try to learn a little bit more about him. We need a third baseman. Yeah, we really need a third baseman. So third base will be uh, our next go-to. So let's finish out the week or finish out this home stretch. We got one more game against the Dodgers, three games against the Brewers. Gallon, Kelly, Jamison. Get a win, finally. We get the fucking win. Uh, Blue Jays are interested in offering us a trade. They would like Melancon, $7 million for relief pitcher Trevor Richards. D potential. I am not going to accept that. So we got an 8-4 to four win for Zach Gallon. There we go. Are we finally going to wake up against the Milwaukee Brewers? Uh, bottom of the ninth, no out. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. I got to get better sooner or later. The batter, the second baseman, Yoder, Guriel. Here we go. Up against Devin Williams. Who can strike people out? We've got a little bit of heat. Yeah, screw ball, four seam and a cutter. And pop out into center, shallow field. Yep. Popped out into center field, got a top of it or underneath it. Mackenzie Gore fires seven innings of two hit ball and win versus Angels. So Mackenzie Gore got a win. Miguel Sano, big power bat, batting 212. Got one home run. Swinging in the dirt on that screw ball. Damn. He got me. I thought that was going to stay high. That was right down the fucking middle. I would have fucking crushed that. Uh, and swing and a miss. I was on top of that shit, too. So two outs, and Christian Walker's up. Come on, Christian. He's 0 for 3 today. 231 against lefties, 100 against righties. Walker. Falling off the cutter. One, two, the count. Go, Walker. In the dirt with the screwball, 2-2. Two, two. Full count now to Walker. There we go, make him throw it to us. Inside screwball, oh, and he got us, it was close. Fuck, I let that one go right down the middle that I should have fucking murdered. Take a fucking L. Three to two. The final God one. damn it. God damn it. My bad there. Uh, Merrill Kelly, torn hamstring will be out for one to two months. So we're going to lose a starting pitcher. Put him on the 15-day IL. Shit, pitching rotation. And we're going to have to throw Zach Davis in. Actually, we can call up somebody. Is there any starting pitcher we'd like to call up? Not really. Bot's not doing too good. Not calling Mad Bum up. Yeah, not much. All right, pitching rotation. Zach Davis, Stephen Brought, move you down. Dre Jameson, move him down. So Gallon, Nelson, Jameson, Davis, Brault. How are you guys doing? A 10 ERA.
for Chafin. Two saves, one blown save. He's getting it down. 1.2 innings pitched. Two strikeouts, a home run, two earned runs. Uh, Miguel Castro is doing pretty fucking well. Six innings pitched, eight strikeouts. Staying with Chafin. Staying with Chafin. All right, so let's get through the week again. Milwaukee Brewers, final home game before heading into Miami. And we're going to lose. Josh Rojas is eligible for reinstation. Uh, keep him on the 10-day IL. He's not He's not healthy yet. Uh, double A, auto, uh, auto fix lineups. Critical situation tied game. Looking to end it on a walk-off. Bomb in the ninth, one out. Andrew Chafin. Did you fucking blow it again? I literally was just talking about this dude, and he's going to blow one. Please tell me he didn't. Two, two. Guy on first. Oh, shit. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. That should have been it. We got Garrett. Shit, I'm fucking up. Checking the runners. Get a little slider down low. There you go. Catcher likes it. Get a low, low inside sinker. That one's going to get followed off towards the third baseman. Try and get him while he's leading. Oh shit, little blooper. But Moreno's under it. Yeah, we're not going to throw either of those. Garrett Cooper up for Miami. Oh, swinging at the four seam fastball. Up and in, swinging again. Dude can't keep up with the fastball. Throw him a little blown away sinker. That's a ball. One ball. Chase. See if we can pick the edge then. It's got him swinging that time. Then to the ninth. Strike out. And that's going to be it for us. So we're just going to simulate to the end of this. Oh, I guess I can't. Uh, so team select. I'm not going to pick anybody. Let's see if we can do it in the top of the ninth. You know what, maybe what I'll do in these situations, since I completed my moment, uh, I should probably go for quick management, shouldn't I? I should. Let's see what uh, Yorel Munoz does. So we got a guy on second. Actually, this should go by quick, because we got a guy on second, so one of our teams should score in one of these innings, hopefully. Munoz. Hits it over the first baseman, miss. That's going to move the runner over to third. Is he going to go home? He is not. Runners on the corner. Munoz lead off single. Our first base coach likes that. Just away enough from that first baseman. He's going to bring up Garrell Jr. Inside sinker, no good. Let's go, Garrell. 
Grell inside, he's gonna hit it into shallow center field, running in. This is gonna be a sack fly, throwing it to the plate. And yeah, he's gonna go in standing up. Arizona takes a three to two lead. Guy on first and Gabriel Moreno. Your attention, please. Now gonna get up to the bat. Fuck, who got that RBI there? I forgot his name. Is it Garrell? Is Garrell the one he was just up? I think it was. So Moreno taking the first one inside. Fastball, strike one. One out, man on first. Slider inside again. Check swing from Moreno. He's thinking that these are going to be outside of the zone. Swinging that one, crushing it. Foul. Go Moreno. Gabriel Moreno. Going to take that one in the dirt. Ball gets away from him. Throwing it down to second. He's safe. So double play possibility no longer there. Yeah. I like to see. So their pitcher blew it. Ball gets away. Who's over on second? Muno. So we got Muno's on second. Moreno up. Good head up play for Moreno. I mean, uh, Nuno's, Nuno's, Nuno's? Munoz, Munoz, Munoz. Four seam fastball, he was way early on that. He was expecting like a 100 mile per hour pitch out of Ostert's farm, out of his hand, nah. Still 98 miles per hour, that dude was just jumpy. So two outs, Corbin Carroll, one for four today. One out, first pitch away slider. Let's go, Carroll. Corbin Carroll swing at that forcing fastball, low and in. Strike one, one, one. High fastball outside the zone. 2-1 now to Carroll. Go Corbin. High fastball fouled off. Lady seems very animated. Very animate about uh, Carroll getting struck out. Steve Ocker going on his 11th pitch. Oh, it's gonna hit the elbow of Carroll. He just shrugs it off like it didn't, now like nothing happened. Stop. Must have been a Nick weak throw. Ahmed. Got away from the pitcher. Guy on first and second, Nick Ahmed, 0 for 4. He is due for a hit. Come on. Ball. Has a chance to extend Arizona's Ball. lead. Ball. 2-0 on that low sinker. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Ooh, check swing. Oh, they're saying he went. That could have been 3-0. Now it's 2-1. Damn. Nick Ahmed. So far. Good plate discipline. Oh, that's a ball. Ump gives it to him, though. 2-2. Two, two. Swing down to the third base. He'll just run and touch the bag. And that is out number three. Garrell going to get him out. We have the lead, though. 3-2. Wow, 21 hits in total. And there's only been five runs. Jeez. So the extra inning rules, we have Andrew Chafin still in. No. 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 Uh, bullpen. No left field. And 
put Joe Mantiply into the game, let him warm up a little bit. We'll throw a few warm up pitches with him. Try to warm him up a little bit more. Oh, it's Mantiply, my bad, Joe Mantiply. All right, he's ready. So man to ply in. Guy on second up against Jesus Sanchez, or Jesus Sanchez. 0 for 3 today. First one hit, shallow left field, or over to left field, out number one. Wild throw, though. Good thing Carson Kelly's backing up that second or shortstop. Wow, Garrell Jr. Wild throw could have cost us if we weren't backing each other up. Nick Fortez, 0 for 3 with a ground out today. Let's see what's going to happen here. Strike on that 12 curve. Got Mark Melancon warming up in our bullpen now. Swung on and hit, right field, gonna go foul and out of play. Rushing over with Jake McCarthy, he had the speed to get there if it would have stayed in play. We got, that's one thing Arizona has, it's speed. We got fucking speed. 12 curve outside, ball one. One, two, the count to Nick Fortez. The potential's there, we just need to put it together. Circle change low, ball two, two. Sinker, hit. That one's gonna go foul as well. And this one's gonna get hit shallow. Carson Kelly throwing to first, out number two. Does advance the runner home though. Smart of the pitcher to go cover. Home plate. Gene Segura up, two for four. I think it said he had a double. Guy on third, chance to tie it. 12 curve inside, strike one. It's a girl like, okay, okay, I got this dude. Gura seems awfully calm there. Carson Kelly very happy about that. 12 curve on the corner again. And Manson fly, really feeling himself right now. Carson Kelly loving it. 0 oh and two. This one's crushed foul. Oh, if that was fair, could have potentially been a home run. Exit velocity of 101. He really got a hold of that. 0-2 oh, count. Oh, High fastball, 1-2. That's ball two. Sinker, 2-2 two, two now. It's implied to Segura. 12 curve, hit over to third base. Can they get him at first? They do, and the Diamondbacks win it. Manson Fly gonna get his first save of the season. And the Diamondbacks have already doubled their wins. It's about fucking time. Off to the best week we might have. This might be the best week we've had all season. Holy shit. 11 hits, only two runs. We gotta be more clutch than that, boys. Gotta be more clutch than that. Evan Longoria was the player of the game. Went two for four with a double and a run score. Andrew Chafin got the win. Ooh. Well, Manson Plea got the save. So let's see if this is going to continue against the Marlins. No, 7-8 to eight loss to the Miami Marlins. <laughs> Fuck, dude. We are I th probably dead last in the league. 2-13 and 13 for the Athletics. And we're 4-11, tied with the Arizona Cardinals. Ugh. 
Uh, all right, so let's take a look at him. So we still have this dude as draft ranking number one, 84 to 95 potential. He'll be between 65 and 76 overall, and he's a righty at 21 years of age. All right, he's got really good arm strength though. So he's got he's gonna he's gonna be able to throw a fucking missile. This Jared Davis dude. All right, let's keep on going. Uh, we'll just keep doing. Just, we'll just go up to all the top prospects. Uh, what happened here? Oh, my bad. Too far forward. So, top prospects. MLB rankings. Robert Gomez, it is now your turn. He'll be scouted in Texas. So, eight prospects were scouted by Jamal. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Plus 15 scouting per week, plus 80 per... Okay, so we need these guys probably for another month. And then we can move them. Oh, you know what? Shit. You know what we should do? We probably should go out and... Try to find some guys, shouldn't we? What are the third basemen looking like? Yeah, there's no third baseman. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Cancel. Go discover infielders. Go find me some infielders. Okay. Finally scouting. There we go. So that's fine. So we'll just try to discover some more prospects. Miami Marlins. Then we go up against the Arizona uh, Cardinals, who are also 4 and 11. Let's see what we're going to be after playing this team. All right, four and twelve. They are five and eleven, just slightly better than us. And we're gonna start off with an zero to seven loss. All right, Andrew Chafin got one run lead to protect. Bottom of the ninth, one out. Tommy Edmonds is on second. Gotta get this fucker out, man. We are off to a horrible first month to this season. We really need to have a good bounce back following this month. So it is raining. Paul Goldschmidt, 0 for 3. For the man on second. Trying to go low and inside. Ball one. Go with the sinker. Or the slider, my bad. Strike one. There's the sinker. Sinker's going to get fouled off. 1 2. See if we can get him chasing. And we do! Goldschmidt chasing the slider. Two outs, man on first. Got him chasing, way in. Golf swinging it. The former MVP. So Nolan Gorman in. Going low and away, following it off. Got solid contact on that forcing fastball. Go low and in. Followed that one off as well. See if we can get him with the sinker. Sinker in the zone. Uh, see if we can get him with the slider. Slider low and away. No good. Slider high and away. And we do. We get him chasing. First base out number three. Chafin getting the save. Diamondbacks winning the game. 
Buck Diaz series is split or tied 1-1. I don't think we've won a series yet, but we could potentially win the series here against the St. Louis the Cardinals. Miles Mikolas taking the L. Great Jamison getting the dub. Let's go, Jamie. One and two. Chance to win our first series. The Cardinals are interested in offering us a trade. They want to trade us relief pitcher. Gabriel Genus Cabrera for Melancon. Uh So right now, Mark Melancon has pitched 10 innings, 4 strikeouts with a 3.6 ERA. Genus Cabrera, no quirks, so no quirks for no quirks. 5 games, he's pitched 3 innings, 2 blown saves, 2 holds, 3 strikeouts with a 12 ERA. He's, he's a lefty. And we got him for one year. B potential. The, the potential's there. I'm moving from a 38-year-old to a 26 B potential. I think this is a good trade. We're going to accept it. We're going to accept it. So St. Louis Cardinals, who we are literally playing against, have decided to make the first trade of the year for us or with us. Genus Cabrera. Just moving right across the hall. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to our organization. Man, we just improved our bullpen a little bit, I think. At least overall-wise, we did. Has there been any other transactions? So, trades. Oh, there's already been a few trades. All right. So, on 4-4, the White Sox acquired uh, Chris Mullers and Kevin Kelly from the Rays. For relief pitcher Kenan Middleton or Middleton. Then the Pirates made a trade with the Cardinals, acquiring right fielder Moises Gomez for exchange for closing pitcher Jalen Garcia. So the Cardinals are getting some bullpen players. Uh, on 416, the Guardians made a quit trade with the Cubs. The Guardians acquired third baseman Edwin Rios from the Cubs in exchange for shortstop Yordis Valdez. And then we just made the trade with the Cardinals again. So the Cardinals already made two trades this year. Look at you guys. Look at you guys. What's going on in the trading block, though? The team's updated their trading block. Shit. Oh, there are. Mike Soroka. Starting pitcher. Mike Soroka. Three games, one and one. 5.6 ERA, 6 walks, 6 strikeouts. Oh, there are some. There are some people. Mike Soroka. Fuck yes, dude. That would be huge. What would they want for him? They want a left fielder or a shortstop. So left fielder. We could give up. Yeah, but you're playing good. 274. Left fielder Brett Johnson.
don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Damn. That would be huge. If we could figure out something to get Mike Soroka, that would be huge. But I think this is going to be an end of the trade or end of video kind of thing. So we're just going to finish up this month. All right, we're going to finish up this month. And if at the 30th of May, you know, maybe, maybe. So finishing off the Cardinals, Jordan Lawyer, staying in injury, be out a few days, AAA, auto it. And there we go, 7 nothing win. We win our first series going 6-13 and 13 at home now against San Diego. We split 7-7, seven, seven, or uh, sorry, 10-10 ten ten for, uh, for this year. See if we can keep the momentum going. Bottom of the ninth, two outs. Terrell Jr. up. See if we can win it with a little walk-off fashion. Two-out rally. So Gorel Jr. Chasing the first pitch, hit to the first third baseman. And that's the end of the night. That's what I get. That is what I get. So let's go do this again. Bullpen. We are going to give Cabrera his first chance at his first chance. So we'll warm up him and Austin Adams, and we're gonna put Cabrera in. A little stretch and toss for Austin Adams. All right, and team select. There we go. Oh, shit. My bad, my bad, mound visit. Kyle Nelson, you're doing good, buddy. You doing good. But we're going to the bullpen, and we're gonna bring in this dude. G Genesis Cabrera, welcome in front of the home crowd. They get to see what this kid's going to be made of. Might be getting his first win. He's got some major curve on some of his pitches. Holy shit. So 94 to 98 mile per hour two C. 94 to 98 fastball. Oh, he's got a cur slow curveball and then a nice circle change. Like, I like this dude's pitching repertoire. If he can get his control figured out, he'll be just fine. Just fine. So Cabrera up against Cronenworth. Well, that's off the Two seamer outside, ball one. Hey! Woo! Curveball, strike one. Nice little drop there. Hell of drop on that curve. So he's got a nice break. Really nice break. Four seam up and in. Or up and away. Strike two, one, two now. And the circle change, strike three. Cabrera. Ooh, picking the corners. That ump was animate about that strikeout. Cronenworth unsure about it. Now up is Juan Soto. Oh. Four seam low, ball one. Grounded out earlier. Cabrera ball gets away from him. Third base, he's out! Yeah! And we got the runner. 
That was a drawn up play. Ball got away from Moreno, able to stay with it, bounced right in front of him. Quick throw over to Rivera, and Kim out number two. And there goes that lead runner, Soto now, potentially the last batter this inning. He's got a 2-0 count. Farah throws it right down the middle, that one goes foul. Check swings, Bump says he went 2-2. Two, two. Here we go, Arizona. See if we can get something here in the 10. And strike number three with the circle change. Genesis Cabrera, welcome to Arizona. So now Arizona with a chance to win it here. Bottom of the 10th, we got Garrell Jr. on second, Miguel Sano up at the bat, swing at oh, that man. first hit slider. So far he's one for four today. He's up against Brent Honeywell Jr. High fastball crushed, and it had the distance, but didn't stay fair. Miguel Sano almost wins it with a walk-off home run. And the four-seam fastball gets him. Brent Honeywell Jr., 41st pitch. Strike number three, Christian Walker, 0 for 4. Looking to get his first hit of today. Four-seamer inside, ball one, 1-0. One, oh. Check swing, that one's gonna be a ball too. Two and O oh, now the count. Chicago leading the NL. Followed by Pittsburgh, Milwaukee, Cincinnati, and then St. Louis. NL West goes Dodgers, San Francisco, San Diego, Colorado, Arizona. Yeah. Crushed, or hit to the right, foul, 2-1. Just need a ball in play. Anything hit into the gap of center field or any outfield position. And that's an RBI and game over. 2-2. Two, two. Come on. Hit into the gap. That'll get guys on the corners. Throwing it home. And the man did not go. Burrell Jr. did not go. But men on the corners. With one... Out, Corbin Carroll. Ball one. Taking the first pitch for a ball, one and oh. He has two singles and a run today. Let's go Carroll. Two and oh. Pitch out, two and oh. Batting 357. So 2 and 0. Circle change. 3 0. And we could potentially have bases loaded with Gabriel Moreno up. So Corbin Carroll with the 3 0 count. Low fastball, strike one. And that was his 50th pitch this game. Trying to go with a bunt, and they're just covering home. Yep. Didn't. Yep. So three two. Uh, we did it to ourselves. And strike three. We did it to ourselves. All right. Well, with that, guys, I'm going to let the commentators take it over, and uh, we'll see how this one goes.
It's okay to be wrong. Hitting out of a tough inning. And welcome back. 11th inning set to get underway. Here's the third baseman, Fernando Tatis Jr. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Calling well, a bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Foul ball. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. That one misses. And a count one and two. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. And that's a little high. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Matt Carpenter in the San Diego on deck circle. Tatis waits. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. First and second. No outs. Now it's back Carpenter. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. In there, and it's 0-1. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Kicks and deals. Check swing. Went around. That is strike two. All tied up. We are in the 11. Going to count one and two. Next offering is outside. Goes down looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Nelson Cruz getting ready to hit. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Coming around third is Soto. Marte fires it to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. 3-2, they take the lead. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when we keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. There's the strike. Tatis at second. Cruz over at first with one away. And a big swing and a miss. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Next pitch is outside. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Kicks and fires. Caught him looking for the K. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you've got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. 
ball and one. the first pitch misses for ball one. Left hand batter waits. Well, good eye right there. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Grisham checks his swing. Appeal down to third. No swing. Two on, two outs. Pumps in a strike, and now three and one the count. Hey, Late on that fastball. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Tosses the first. That takes care of Grisham. And that's the third out. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here in extras, and a new pitcher on the mound at the bottom half of the inning, Josh Hader. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Well, one run game. Now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel Moreno. He's already homered here in this one. It's so important to stay within yourself, especially for this hitter. Not known to be a power guy or a home run hitter. He needs to set the table by getting on with a walk or a base hit. And a strike. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their keep. Here comes a pitch. And it's fouled away. Runner leads away at second. Oh. Mm. Just misses there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Got him swinging for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Oh, you got to be pretty quick <laughs> with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one. Just tough to catch up to. I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. And now, Emmanuel Rivera. Fastball for a strike. Going one. And the pitch. One ball, one strike. That's off the mark. Two and one. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. Tying run in scoring position. And the home team trying to pull it out. And ball four to a board. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. One down. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Cattell Marte. The switch hitter batting right. Well, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order. Struggling as of late, but a knock here would be a huge lift for him and for his team. Next offering is down low. 1-0. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Check swing, went around, and it's one and one. Big spot, tying and winning runs aboard with one down. Next pitch misses, two and one.
two on, one out. And now it's even up. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Got it by him for the K. Now, when you follow up a triple digit fastball with a nasty changeup, pretty much every time the hitter's going to be in trouble. And that was the plan. Get him to sit dead red on the fastball and then just make him look foolish with the off speed stuff. And now the right fielder, Jake McCarthy, trying to deliver as the hero. First offering misses the mark. Left-hand hitter waits. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Boom, that's cheddar, baby. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. One -one. And now one, -one. one strike away. <laughs> The tying and go-ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win, but it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club. 3-2 the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shelby. Thanks for joining us. Well, that sucks. That was a shitty loss. I think Genesis Cabrera, though, even though he took the L, five strikeouts in two innings. Like, the dude, dude's doing fucking phenomenal still in his first debut. I think even fans would say he did phenomenal. They should have took him out for Austin Adams anyways. Don't know why they didn't get through the remainder of the week. Have a chance to split against San Diego. Uh, all right, so 5-6. Loss and then an 8-2 win against San Diego. Good, good, good. Uh, Scouting-wise, we have scouted one infield prospect discovered. View on recently scouted list. Okay, so I can just do it by this. Oh, this. Is, oh, it's probably because I had it in the. Hmm. So it was this dude, second baseman. 65 to 99 potential. Dave Swift. Let's see what we can find out about you, Dave. Seem to be a few years away. Second base. All right, so we'll go after after him, and then we'll start trying to scout those uh, third basemen now that I know that that is where they are. Finish off this San Diego series, then we'll go up against Kansas City. Finish off this home stretch, more double-A injuries. Down by one, one out, bottom of the ninth. Let's do it. Now batting. All right, so here we go. Manuel Rivera against Josh Hader, bottom of the ninth. Going on and hit. He's going to go foul. Doesn't get away from Rivera. Oh, oh. 
How far did that go? That a boy. Joe Mantenfly get the win. Jake McCarthy's player of the game. Went two for four with a home run, a double, an RBI, and a run. Rivera, a home run. Fucking clutch. Fucking clutch. And fuck you, Josh Hader. Fuck you. So we're getting close to the end of the season. And I think this 27th right here is going to be the day that we got to decide we want to make any trades. So Kansas City. Sim through the date. Big dub. Game number one. Bottom of the ninth. Two outs. Guy on third and first. Got a chance to sweep Kansas City. So I'm going to jump on in here. Diamondbacks winning a few more games this second half of the month. Team might be starting to wake up a little bit. Surprised we're not stealing more bases with the speed we have. We're, we're hitting a shit ton of home runs. So Jake McCarthy 0 for 4. Marte on first. Another man on third. That one's going to be hit. And gone. Oh, thought I was going to get that in the gap. But no, I did not. I fucked oh, up. Miguel Castro taking the L. Yeah, yeah lost it in the eighth. Lost it in the fucking eighth. Oh, almost came back, though. Almost. So we're not going to sweep them. Uh, Merrill Kelly will be out three to four weeks. Placed on the 15-day IL. Bottom the ninth. Corbin Carroll on third. I mean, on second. One out. Chance to win this series before we take a look at our team and decide if we want to make any moves. I don't know if I really want to. I mean, that, that pitcher would be fucking clutch to bring into our organization. The right fielder, number 12. And I really do want to go out and try my damnedest to get him. The Lourdes Gariel. Line drive right at the second baseman. Oh, all right. All right, Miguel, we're going to take you out. Yeah, we're going to take you out. Um, let's see. Evan Longoria. Going to bring in Evan Longoria against the lefty Amir Garrett. Oh! Let's go. Let's fucking go. Do we got speed anywhere? Uh, it's a little bit faster, but it's not going to change anything. Christian Walker now up. Guy on first and third. And he fucking popped. All right, we're going to go into quick manage now. We're going to quick manage this one. So we're going to take out Miguel Castro. Uh, we'll do... Yeah, we got to go Kyle Nelson. He's out. Three ground outs there. Gabriel Moreno. Single, and we win. There we fucking go. Diamondbacks beat the Royals. Moreno gets the RBI. Fucking win. Fuck yes, Amir Garrett takes the L and we beat Kansas City for our, for our second series win. Is that our second or first series win? I think it's our second. Jake McCarthy, torn hamstring, will be out two to three months. So we just lost. So that was our second series win. But we just lost our leadoff, man. Good thing we have Corbin Carroll, but shit.
Oh, man. All right. Corbin Carroll goes up there. We outfielder. Guess we, we're gonna go with Miguel Sano or Pavin Smith. I think we're gonna go with Miguel Sano against lefties. And then against righties. To put him out in the field. Now we're gonna put Pavin Smith in against righties. So Smith, you're not going to be batting second. Drell Jr. Just move them up. There we go. And against lefties, Miguel Sano. Yeah, Miguel Snow will bat seventh. That's fine. All right, so that'll do it for that lineup. We still need to fix our rotation. We just lost Merrill Kelly. Oh, that just gets rid of our long reliever, doesn't it? it does just get rid of our long reliever. Injuries again. Injury list. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, I'm losing roll house. That kind of sucks too. All right, so let's take a look. See if there's anybody on the trading block. We still got Mike Soroka on here. Tyler Mail. I mean, five ERA. Domingo Germain's doing better with the ERA. Jesus Lazardo. So, left handed pitcher Lazardo, 18 strikeouts in 31 innings pitched. So, the dude's not striking out a lot of guys, but he's still doing good. Road Warrior and Day Performer. Lazardo. Oh, we could overhaul our fucking. Our pitching staff quick with some of these guys who are available. Is there any outfielder, Roman? Lor no, you're not playing good. Uh, yeah, nothing too much there. Any top prospects? A potential 22-year-old third baseman, Curtis Mead. Who is this from? The Rays. So the Rays are trying to get rid of someone who's batting 400 right now. Somebody third and first. Kind of met everywhere. Good fielding. 65. Wow. And then Michael Toglia. First base and outfield. B potential. Batting 278. So there are some potential prospects there. Like, if we picked up this dude and then this guy, that would figure out our infield prospect situation. We wouldn't really have to worry about prospects in the infield. And then if we p could somehow grab Lazardo and Soroka, it would be over. Okay, so they want. we weren't able to get Soroka. We tried Soroka. We weren't really able to get him. How about Lazardo? All right, Jesus Lazardo. They want relief pitching. Uh, let's see. Relief pitching, outfield, shortstop, first base, third base. First base. Could 
go with Seth Beer. Hmm. Trade him Nick Ahmed. They need a shortstop, so we'll give him Nick Ahmed. I need to give him something else and a reliever. Eleven. Okay, we can get this done. I know we can. It's just what so we're gonna give him first baseman Buddy Kennedy. Hasn't really played much this season, and then they want a shorts a third baseman. Not if we gave him Rivera, they said they would do it, but Rivera's playing pretty good for us.
All right, I've done it. So we are going to be giving Rupp a, a, a pretty good prospect, 19-year-old Division de Los Santos. All right, third base, first base prospect, 19 years of age. He's C potential, and that's really the only reason why I'm kind of okay getting rid of him. It's, I really don't want to. Uh, is it, would it be worth it? No, no, I, that's making it, that's forcing a trade, but would it be? I mean, he see potential. Man, I, I really am debating if I should make this trade, because, like, he see fucking potential. I don't know if he'll grow. I mean, he's, I know his potential, potentially could grow. Mm. I think it's worth it. We get a 25 year old, 77 overall. So what would our what would our so he he would replace Merrill Kelly for the time being. But then we would actually have 570 overall starting pitchers. If I was going to give up Devin De Los Santos, I feel like I should give him up for something better than this. All right, I'm just going to hold tight. I'm not going to be making any moves. Mets are interested in making us a trade. They want to trade us. Him... For him. So Joey Lucchesi, $1.1 million. Oh, they're trying to free up cap space. Yeah, they're way over budget for $5 million. No. Auto utilize. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, do I have to, I didn't fix these lineups. Fuck. All right. Well, for the first month in the minors appears to have been uh completely squandered. Seems to have been completely squandered. Oh, that that kind of sucks. So, I guess I had to fix the minor league lineups as well. Um, but this is going to be it for the first episode. We finish up 10 and 18. For the first month of the season, so we ended the season off really strong. Uh, minor league team, we are 14 and 6 in double A, 
and 15 and 11 in AAA. I will be going and fixing up their lineups in between episodes as well. Um, lineups, let's see how we're doing. Zach Gallon, 29 strikeouts in 36 innings. Seems like strikeout numbers are way down. Uh, 10 ERA for Steven Brault. Dude, we might want to just make that trade just to improve our fucking rotation. Might win us a few more games. Uh, Kyle Nelson. Yeah, that would be a left-handed. Yeah, it would be a lefty too. Uh, let's see. Kyle Nelson's having a good year. Austin Adams, Matt Cabrera is doing better. He's starting to do better. Miguel Castro, really good start to the season. Uh, John Mantiply doing really good. Andrew Chafin might want to change him out. And in fact, I think I am going to change him out. I think I'm going to put Joe Mantiply as our closer from now on. And I think we're going to have our setup guy be Kyle Nelson. So middle relievers now Chapin, Adams, Cabrera, Castro with Kyle Nelson and Joe Mantiply as our closers. So there is that. Any other transactions happen in the season? Uh, trades, no trades have happened. Uh, and let's see, the National signed catcher Chris Beck to a one-year $40,000 million, uh, $40, contract. National signed catcher Yerman Mercedes for a one-year $450 million contract. And then the catch, uh, the pirate signed catcher Martin Cerventka to a one-year 30 k contract as well. So that is going to be it for this one, guys. And until next time, I will see you all later. Bye-bye.